Welcome to Cursed Mysteries, where we journey beyond the realm of the ordinary, into the shadows where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs. Here, we unravel the most chilling, inexplicable, and paranormal phenomena that have confounded investigators for decades. Tonight, we open our series with a tale from the icy depths of Russia's Ural Mountains. It is the year 1959, and nine experienced hikers set out on an expedition. What awaited them on that desolate, snow-covered slope has become one of the most enduring mysteries of our time. In this episode, we delve into the story of the Dyatlov Pass incident. Was it nature's cruel hand or something far darker? Join us as we unravel the secrets buried in the snow. And ask yourself, could it have been a curse? The following episode contains disturbing content, unsettling imagery, and themes of death and the paranormal that may not be suitable for all audiences. Proceed with caution. The Dyatlov Pass Incident, a cold, unsolved mystery. In the heart of the Ural Mountains in Russia, in the winter of 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers embarked on what would become one of the most chilling, unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Led by Igor Dyatlov, a 23-year-old seasoned mountaineer, the team set out to conquer the treacherous slopes of Kolat Siakl, a peak whose name translates to Mountain of the Dead, in the native Mansi language. Little did they know, this would be their final expedition, and the events that unfolded would baffle investigators for decades. The hike begins. On a January 27, 1959, the group, seven men and two women, began their journey. The hikers were all students and graduates of the Ural Polytechnical Institute, and they were well-versed in the challenges of long-distance skiing and mountaineering. The goal was to reach Otorten Mountain, but worsening weather conditions, including snowstorms and sub-zero temperatures, forced them to deviate from their course. On February 1st, the group set up camp on the slopes of Kolat Siakl. They pitched their tent on the snowy hillside, a decision that still puzzles experts since there was a forested area nearby that would have offered more shelter from the biting wind. That night, something went terribly wrong. The grim discovery. When the group didn't return as scheduled, a search party was sent out on February 20th. On February 26, searchers found the hikers' abandoned tent, but it was not the orderly camp one might expect from a group of seasoned adventurers. The tent had been slashed open from the inside, as if the hikers had frantically tried to escape. All their belongings, including warm clothing and shoes, were left behind. Following the trail of barefoot footprints leading into the deep snow, searchers soon discovered the first two bodies near the edge of the forest, almost a mile from the tent. Both were dressed only in their underwear, lying next to the remains of a small fire. The next three bodies, including that of Dyatlov, were found not far from the first two, positioned as if they had been trying to return to the tent. Months later, after the snow thawed, the remaining four hikers were found in a ravine deeper in the woods. These bodies had suffered far more severe injuries. One had a fractured skull, and two had massive chest fractures. Investigators likened the force needed to inflict such damage to that of a car crash. Official findings. Well, we've determined it was most likely a bear attack. Yes, just a bear. Though between you and me, this bear must have been in some kind of circus act because the tracks lead absolutely nowhere. Tents are shredded like someone had a grudge. And those claw marks, well, Let's just say if they belong to a bear, then I'm dating Lennon's ghost.